Ranger Falcons. We're so excited to welcome you back to school in just a few short days. A few things have changed since we last saw you in March, so come with me and I'm going to show you and tell you all about them. The first thing that looks a little bit different is now when you come to school, whether you're being dropped off by family or taking the bus, you're going to have your temperature checked right when you arrive. A teacher will come up to you and take your temperature with this little device that scans your forehead. If you're being dropped off by family, you'll stay in the car until the teacher gives you the go ahead that you can get out and come inside. You'll grab your things, wave goodbye to your family, and walk in to greet some of your other teachers. Miss Courtney, our new school nurse, will also be outside ready to greet you. So follow me, I'll show you where we're going to head. You remember the library? Maybe you want to get Yeah. Oh, my friend behind me is coming in too. And notice, one, two, three, four, five, six. We try to keep six squares apart from each other as we're heading down the hall. Come with us. If you're in Miss Pellegrino's class, you head right in here. Hi, Mr. Pellegrino's class. <laughs> if you're in Miss Godin's class, you're heading right into her classroom. Hi, Miss Godin. <laughs> <laughs> This is Hurt's room, so if you're going to her class, that's where you go. And right next door to Mrs. Hurt's classroom is Mr. Dodge's classroom. Mr. Dodge's office. So Mr. Dodge is here. He's not in the main office. He's out here this year. All right, so if I was meeting somebody, I'd also want to make sure that there isn't anybody else in the hall except for my friend Sarah. Miss O'Brien. Hi, Mrs. O'Brien. How are you doing? Good. If you go to Miss O'Brien's classroom, you're going right in here. Is the preschool room where Miss Becca's classroom is. <laughs> and then our fifth and sixth grade friends. This is where I'm heading. We're heading to the fifth and sixth grade classroom, so you'll head right in here. Might be asking yourself, I wonder what lunch and recess are going to look like. So let's talk a little bit about that. For recess, we have a new routine. Instead of lining up in your classroom, you'll line up in the gym and go out the gym doors. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> During recess, we're going to have one classroom playing on the upper playground and one classroom playing on this equipment over here on the lower playground. Your teacher, your homeroom teacher, will tell you which playground you'll be on every day. After recess, you'll line up socially distanced or physically distanced from your classmates where, we know, where some of the younger students used to line up, and then we'll enter in through the door to the cottage. If you're in Ms. Palermo's fifth and sixth grade class, you'll enter and exit the building through the door to your classroom. For lunch, we're no longer gonna be eating in the gym for right now. Instead, you're gonna be eating in your classrooms with your class. Let's talk about what Unified Arts will look like this year. You'll have PE outside here on the baseball field. You'll have art, music, and library in your classroom this year. But don't worry, you'll still be able to check out books. If you're part of Parent Pickup, a teacher will radio your classroom when your parent arrives. Walk family. Pickup is here. 
with your bags packed, you'll walk out to meet your family. Don't forget to wave goodbye. What about if you're riding the bus? This year for bus dismissal, instead of dismissing all together as one big group and getting on your separate buses, we're going to dismiss by class. Miss LeMay will make the announcement, you'll walk down with your class, and you'll get on your bus and wait for the other classes to be dismissed. It'll sound something like this. Please excuse the interruption. Miss O'Brien's class, you are now dismissed to the buses. Have a wonderful afternoon.